Hey there, Lisa here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you'll join me in my love of crafting and DIYs and hit that subscribe button. Today I have for you five super simple rustic DIYs that are part of a great collab that I'll tell you about soon. But first, let's jump right into DIY number one. So for this project, I took these square, little squares, pieces of material that I actually ordered from Timu, and then I took a cinnamon stick. And what I'm doing here is I am just cutting um, a little, like just a little bit into the fabric and then ripping it because I wanted this to look rustic. So that is what I am doing here. And I do that with all five of the patterns that I chose for my ornament. Next, I, once I have them all cut, I take and I start tying the pieces on and I am just simply tying one knot around the cinnamon stick and then I go on to the next fabric and the next until I get to the end. Once I have them all tied on, we are going to take some material scissors and we are just going to cut this in the shape of a, if you haven't guessed it by now, a tree. And so we, I do one side and then I go through and cut trim the other side just so that it looks semi like a Christmas tree. Next, I take this little star that I got in a pack of several different shapes from the Dollar Tree and I am just giving it some color with a furniture marker. The final step in this simple little ornament is just to assemble it. And so I take a piece of twine and I am just gluing it to the back so as the hanger. And the star on top finishes off this simple little ornament. Here's a quick peek at it. Be sure to stay to the end and you'll be able to see it closer and on the tree. So for DIY number two, I took two of these little wood slices that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And this was um, a gnome that I had dismantled last year to use a hat. And I just literally save everything. So I decided to take this piece of his leg and I am going to use this as the scarf for my snowman. And this is a super, super simple DIY. We are basically just going to take and assemble this with the help of our trusty hot glue gun. So I take and I am just gluing the head to the snowman's body here. And then I am going to take and glue on the, his little scarf. And then we are going to add a hanger and that will be it for this one. And for the hanger, I just take a piece of twine and just hot glue it to the back of the snowman's head. And here's a quick peek at the final product. Before we move on to our next DIY, I want to take a minute and tell you about this collaboration. This is the five under five dollar collaboration, which is one of my favorites, and it is hosted each month by Emily from Farm Charm Chic. And this month's guest host is Aria from DIY with Aria. Both ladies' channels will be linked in my description box, as well as the playlist full of other talented creators taking part. For DIY number three, I am going to use the booty off of our little gnome leg. See, I tell you, I keep everything. And I am going to cut out a small oval shape, which is going to be the nose for our reindeer. So this next step is super sped up, but basically I'm just gonna explain here. I am just taking one of those plastic bulb ornaments from the Dollar Tree and I'm wrapping it in twine. And I am just adding hot glue when it doesn't want to stay put. And so there's just a few dots here and there and more and more as you get towards the bottom of the bulb. And so I just keep going until I get it completely covered in twine. Next, I added the hanger back on, then moved on to gluing on his nose and his antlers. Replaced the string that was on the bulb ornament with a piece of twine and just looped it through and tied a knot at the top to hang him with. Finally, I just knotted a piece of ribbon in a knot <laughs> and cut off the ends. I'm sorry, I keep going out of camera here and then hot glued that to the top. 
Before we move on to four, here's a quick peek at our reindeer. For DIY number four, this one's super simple too. I'm telling you guys, super simple today. So I took this wood slice that already had a pre-drilled hole in it. You know, I got these off Marketplace, but I believe that you can pick these up at the Dollar Tree. I'm not real sure. Um, but if not, you can get them at any craft store and they're pretty inexpensive. And then I am just taking this transfer and I am simply going to transfer the image onto the wood slice. But first I'm going to take a piece of twine and I'm going to double it and pull it through and loop it, tie a knot at the top to make our hanger. And then I am going to transfer this on. Now I initially start with trying with a burnisher, um, but I, cannot I don't know what it is my nail just seems to work the best for these transfers so I do end up using my nail um, it takes some patience and some time so this is really 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 sped up but I eventually get the image on there and again we're doing rustic so if you miss a few little pieces here and there no biggie no stress and here's a quick peek at this ornament before we move on to our fifth and final DIY. So for this one, I am taking a Jenga block. Um, these are the little ones that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I am going to give it a coat of white paint. And I just did front and sides. If this was something that I was going to gift or possibly sell, I, I would do the back and make it look finished, but this is just going on my tree. So I did just do the front and the sides. And I'm just using white acrylic paint is all. Next, I took these little stamps that I actually picked up on Timu and I've been dying to use them. I've had them for quite some time and I am using some red ink and some green ink. I initially was just gonna use black, but turns out I am completely out of black well it was all dried up so uh note to self get some black ink so i decided to just do red and green so i am just stamping on the word noel with the red and green ink i then take some antique wax on a really small chippy brush and i am just going to distress this just a little bit a little bit across the front a little heavier on the edges and a little bit on the sides Finally, I take a piece of twine and I am just going to hot glue it to the back on one side and then hot glue it to the back on the other side. And that is it for this ornament as well. And here is a quick peek before we jump into the final look at all of our projects. So here we have our tree. Next up, we have our little teeny tiny snowman. Next is our reindeer and our little transferred on image on the wood slice. And then finally our little Jenga block Noel. And then here's a look at them all hung up on my tree. I would love to know what your favorite project is if you have one today. If you think that you ever might recreate any of these. I love to hear your comments, so be sure to leave me a comment and let me know. My 10-year-old daughter weighed in, and her favorite ornament is the wood slice. So I'd love to know what you guys think. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today, and I hope you have a great one. Take care. Bye-bye.